Okay, I'm here with Lance. We're going to take a virtual tour of the showroom and just discuss uh, what type of outdoor furniture you can get for your home. Okay, Lance, do you want to tell me about this table over here? Okay, well this one here that we have here is what we call our barbecue table. Um, you can get them in different styles. You can mix and match basically everything that we have. So what you see is what you, you don't have to have. What you see in the brochure, you can mix and match. So you can have a chair on one end, stools on, on, on the other, or whatever you like, it really makes a difference to me. Um, so what style of chairs are these? I see this one here. This one here is what we call the dining chair. Um, and they, what I like about them is they're nice and light compared to a lot of the other furniture. They're not as bulky, um, still just as strong, but they just, and the other plus side is they don't take up as much space as what the big chairs do right. on the other big tables. So it's just something to keep in mind. And the, thing, the other thing that I like about the stools is in the winter time when you're not even using them, you can tuck them right under your table and they don't take up so much space on your deck. Whereas in the summer you've got them out and you're using them anyway. So it's just that's something that I like about the stools. They don't take up so much space on your deck and you can sort of tuck them away in the winter. The average lifetime of outdoor furniture, you know, I've bought stuff from Bunnings and that, yeah. that's probably lasted a couple yeah, of years. That's something that I get asked a lot. The difference between my stuff and Bunnings is one is the quality, not just in the timber but in the materials as well. Um, talking, we only use stainless screws in everything that we use. We don't use zinc coating whatsoever. It rusts out and falls out, and it, it's just it's just rubbish to be honest. So we just point blank, we just don't use anything with zinc coating. It's stainless right the way through. Um, Kev was saying too that your macrocarpa is the top 5% of macrocarpa. Yeah, out of a whole tree we would probably only take 5% of, of that tree. Um, it's, it's not a lot really when you think about it. Out of a whole tree 5% is a very, very small margin of timber that's coming out of that tree. Um, yeah, that's why we use clear timber. We just the quality, it's because our, our furniture is not cheap and the reason why it's not cheap is it's quality from start to finish. There's no shortcuts in anything that we do. Well, it's, it's real value for money because yeah. if you went out and brought that top 5% of wood yourself, Self, it's going to cost a lot cost more because you get it in bulk. Yeah, and that's, that's the reason why we can do what we do. We, we do, we buy it in bulk, we dry it, we get it wet, it sits in the paddock for 12 months before we even think about touching it. So we know that it's dry when we get to it because Wet timber will always split and it'll always crack and it's just a headache so we just we don't go down that road we only use dry clean timber. Yeah. Um, and this is another one of our tables this is our hexagon table and I quite like this because it is a big table but it's small at the same time you put that on your deck it actually doesn't take up as much space as to what a bigger table like our VC would. So it's just something to think about that when you are purchasing out your furniture you want to measure the area that you've got to work with and then you can work out what sort of size table is going to be practical. Practical is good. And th these are um, uh, what we call our high back chairs. Um, they don't necessarily come with rockers, we just done a couple with rockers just to have something a bit different in the shop. Um, you can get the rockers on anything up to three seaters, which these are two seaters behind you. Another one, and they're pretty well balanced. Um, I have had my kids go on them and rock them the sun comes down and <laughs> they haven't been able to tip them over so that's a bonus I think. Okay, so and we have a few different styles and two or three seaters that you can get. This is our rural, a lot of farmers like it because it sort of ties in with the rural, rural seat. Um, but there are a few different options that you can take. What's this, this style? Is, this is the horizon that was originally made for some set retirement products. They've got a lot of furniture like that. Um, but that's what that design was for. It's actually what we call the horizon because it looks like the sun coming up. Okay, and this is actually our standard rocking chair. Now that's what we based the rockers off, and then we just decided that we would turn a two-seater into a rocker, and, and then we done a few more, and they took off. So we just kept doing it. Now behind you, you got the love swing. And behind us is the love swing. Now a lot of um, empty care people have these because it's quite common. They find with the, the swinging motion that it comes from the patient's down. And they're also comfortable too. Um, and there's a few different styles and chairs that you can have. You can have this is what we call the Cape Cod, and, and in my opinion, it would be the most comfortable. But again, it comes down to preference at the end of the day. It's, it's each to their own. I'm just going to zoom in on these up here. So I see up here. 
So it's built in 1996, restained in 2006. Yeah, now that sat down the side of my workshop for probably about five years in a pile of dust. <laughs> and then we decided to hose it down. We restained half of it and we left the other how it was originally done, just to show the people. Yeah, it looks good. If you actually look after them, they will look after them. This one here's got a footstool. Yeah, that's the Cape Cod, um, and that has the footstool with it, a nice and comfy. Oh, we've got the other Cape Cod styles that's, here. That's the Cape Cod two seater, so that's the biggest that I've done with the Cape Cod style. Two seater, but I, I thought they were the most comfy. You, you sit in them and you actually don't want to get out. But again, it really comes down to individual preference. Yeah. Um, and then here we have what we call our, our um, umbrella seat, or uh, love, love seat, there's something we like to call it, Jack and Jill. They're nice and comfy, and what I like about them is you can put an umbrella in them. So if you're out in the sun, you can sit out, you've got the umbrella on, you're not going to get burned, you can enjoy a wine or beer or water, whichever it is your preference, and you're not going to get cooked. So that's the reason. You can get them made without a hole in them if that's what you like, if it's going under cover. It's not an issue, it's just a matter of not drilling the hole, so don't be shy to ask. Carry on around here. This is what we call our KC table. It's 1700 long by basically a metre wide, and again, this has got stools with it. And I like it because again, you can hide it, yeah. it takes up far less space on the deck, and you're not actually using it. This is pretty big. Yep, and this here is our DX. This is actually the biggest table that we make. It's 2.4 long by 1150 wide. Um, and again, this is a good example of as to show you how much space a chair takes up compared to stools. Now, that's harder. And it's still taking up quite a bit, a bit of space. Now, if you've got the space, it's not an issue, but if you don't have the space, that's when it does become an issue. So, just things to keep in mind when you are purchasing your outdoor furniture. Yeah. Um, and again, this is our V seat. This is the next step down from the DX. It's two metres wide by 1100 wide. So, you're not jumping down a lot, but it does make a difference. Here we have our large bar leader. Um, it comes with six stools. No good at the entertainment property of Google. Um, yeah, they are, they're, they're brilliant. I actually they're really enjoy these. PC table, we call it a PC because it's permanently correct. And I was <laughs> sitting at the head of the table. Um, good seller. And, and another beauty is, uh, being a square table, they don't take up as much space as what a longer table yeah. would do. So it's just another option to give people. Um, yeah, and you can get different styles as well. Yeah, it's good you got a lot of room on there. I mean, like you could have platters of food yeah, in the middle. Yeah. And, and people are comfy, okay? And then this is another VC set. It's the same as what's down there, but it's got dining chairs around it. Um, and you're actually limited to actually how many people specifically that you can seat. Whereas a bigger table, you get two or three people on the chair, whereas you can only get one on the chair. But again, if you've got a small family, it's not an issue. It's just another thing to keep in mind.